Hi everybody, it's Teresa Root from Dodge Nature Center and time for another Nature to Go. Last week I was showing you blue snow, but you can kind of see I don't have blue snow in my backyard this week. I don't have any kind of snow in my backyard this week because it's all melting. It's springtime. This is great. There's so many cool things that we can go look for in the springtime. So one of my favorite parts of spring, finding this ice. That's fun, so much fun to crack. And of course, mixed in with it, mud, 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 so much gooey gooey mud. And one more of my favorite things is this tree right here, this kind of tree, maple trees which has one of the coolest unusual things that you can look for as a springtime mystery. You know what I'm talking about? I'm looking for sapsicles. This is a sapsicle. Yeah, it looks exactly like an icicle, which is what it is, but it's made of frozen sap. How are sapsicles formed? Well, this is what has to happen. Some kind of animal, like the squirrel, comes along and snips off a branch in order to eat the buds. But now there's a hole in the tree. And in the springtime, when we have warm days, cold nights, there's pressure in the tree. And so that hole is a place where sap can escape and drip out. Sap will drip all day until by late afternoon, early evening, the temperature drops and the sap starts to freeze. Just like with icicles, as it freezes, it releases heat, so a little bit more is dripping, it forms that pointy shape. But depending on what's going on with wind or calmness, we sometimes get strange shapes in our sapsicles. And depending on how big the hole is, your sapsicle might be thin or it might even be thick. But regardless of their size or shape, the thing is you have to look for sapsicles early in the morning because once the sun comes out and it warms up, they'll melt away and that might be the only time they were around. So get out, enjoy the warm weather, but keep an eye out for sapsicles. Thanks for joining me for Nature to Go, and we'll talk with you next time.